Then there's the opposite. You have you have this in Hawaii a lot actually. They put the heaters up on the roof. It won't happen to you guys, but you you might have it up on a hill or um, depending on the landscape. We have a couple of areas, so you might have areas, but anyway, it's way above the surface of the water, and the pump, it, it, whether it's up here or down here, the pump's going to struggle to get it all the way up in the air and then back down. Plus, the travel back down is a siphoning effect. It, you know, it's pulling on the water, so it's dropping pressure. And you'll just do the opposite. You'll dial it all the way up. You can go almost to the top, and you, you know you can tell as you dial, and it's easier and easier to dial, and then, then it just takes a little, a little thing to get it to activate less pressure. That's why that's adjustable, and, and that those are the places where you're going to do it. You may have installations where you go down or up, and you just have to make the judgment call there. The easy test is just to look at it, turn the pump on and off, just to swing the heater off so it's not cycling. Just turn your pump on and look at it. Turn your pump off. And you'll actually watch that piston go up and down. You'll know if you have it up high enough. If, if, if you turn the pump on and that piston takes that initial surge and then drops back down and then it you know, just barely is enough to hit it, loosen it up a little bit more and make it so it's really hitting that switch good. And then when you shut it off, the key is just when you shut the pump off, it has to break, drop out. If the pump turns off and it's still engaged, then that's where we have problems. That's what just has to drop out and then shut the pump off. So we can adjust them a little bit. Yeah, you can adjust them all the way over down in the field when you install it. I mean, we, we actually want you to have a look at it when you install to it. Adjust it. But, uh, um, when the Hayward heaters, they would, like gas heaters, they tell us never. To On a gas heater? Yeah. Well, those are different because you, um, you know, you've got a flame in there, and if that flame doesn't. Now they can If you don't adjust that right and it stays running without water flow, the high pressure switch is going to be in there to back it up. And, you know, and you're, you, you won't have any water flow, so this, this refrigerant isn't cooling down at all. It's staying hot. And when it comes over here, the whole system, instead of running at the high and low happy place, there's no water, so they begin to go like this. The refrigerant keeps its heat, and it keeps its heat, and it keeps its heat. And then the switch will see that the high pressure. The high pressure. pressure there's a yeah. back up there if we mess up. Right. On the, the gas. And your customer will say cycling. Mm -hmm. And when you go there and you turn it on with the gauges on, you'll be able to see. Well, why is that? You know, what's going on? Why is that? Motor size is you also, you also, um, maybe you will, or maybe you won't. You'll shut the pump off and you won't kick off. Mm -hmm. That would be the Typically, when you get it right at the installation, it'll stay right for the life of it. Unless the switch itself fails. The gas heaters, they actually put like an adhesive on the piston so you can't adjust it. That's really the fact that they don't yeah. move it. They don't they move it. They don't move it. They don't move it. They don't move it. They don't move it. That's what it's your fault. They actually calibrate those thermostats the same way. These things have moving parts inside of them when you turn it. It's actually like a disc that turns. <coughs> and down in here, it. It's like an Allen there's, screw. there's an Allen screw that, that they calibrate it with so that you know when it's up up and down it's as close to 80 degrees as possible. So as soon as they get that calibrated with that Allen key, they drop a little epoxy on it. Yeah. And try to lock that. Yeah. That's well, that's what they do for the, the, the that. That was something that they messed up, and there was a match of them where that epoxy wasn't applied. And, 